boy. So, intern, I had this great idea for a new type of blaster. I think that we should take the jolt, but make it way bigger than it needs to be, and, and that's what we're going to do. It's going to be huge. It's going to be a jolt, and, and that's what it's going to be. We're also going to make it way overpriced for what it is and add way more plastic than it needs to have. What do you say, intern? Intern? It, it, what the heck? Intern, where are you? Intern? Intern? Where are you? What is going on? What the? Intern! Don't worry, we're gonna make them back to business, but where's all your hair it might be fake, but the reviews aren't any of my pants. What These are you talking about? Amazing care package today. These are eight Omniclear 18 round stick mags. But you must have got out rapid six. Intern. Intern is. What the? He's an intern at Hasbro HQ. Yes, he is. Um, working for some dumb guy named Supervisor. Dumb guy! <laughs> Now I think that has a really dumb name. Supervisor, what kind of name is that? Um, kind of seems like a jerk. What the? Well, I, was I am not a jerk. Website, because I wanted to standardize all my magazines. I supply only the best conditions. And they had the orange ones. I'm like, oh, well, buy those. To find out that they're $10. Yes, they're $10. We need to make money somehow. Um, intern contact me. He's like, oh, no, dude, you don't need to buy those. And you get clear ones on the Pretty much the same plastic quality, but you get like four for twenty-one dollars. What? Intern! Thank you, intern, for this amazing care package. Intern! You know, I I wish you the best of luck. Um, thank you for telling me a bunch of stuff about the modified Nerf Strife on what? You guys on Instagram, you guys are awesome. Uh, thank you, intern. Bye. You guys remember, I've always seen hair might be fake, but. Intern! Stupid intern, where did this come from? Well, since intern doesn't want to make blasters for me anymore, I'll do it myself! There we go. The most reskinned reskin of all the reskins we've ever done. And I'm going to sell it for $10 at Dollar General. Nothing will stop me now. <laughs> I do this to myself for some reason. I don't know why. It's not like it means anything. Like, there's really nothing I can say about the Alpha Strike Mantis. I got it like six months ago at a garage sale because some lady didn't want it anymore and I paid like a dollar for it. Still new in the box, she just bought it and said no. And quite honestly, her decision to get rid of it was probably way better than my decision to buy it because this blaster might just be the worst thing in my entire collection. Bar none. It might just be even worse than the Shockwave. I don't know, we're gonna find out in today's video. So what do you get when you purchase an Alpha Strike Mantis? You get one Alpha Strike Mantis, and you get five. I will come into your house at three o'clock in the morning and move every single piece of furniture you own one inch to the left darts. So that's pretty much it. You don't even get any instructions with this thing, and Hasbro loves to put their instructions in because nobody knows how Nerf Blasters work. You need instructions. I need them! I don't know how to use this thing! Although, to be fair, they actually do give you instructions, but it's printed on the back of the box, so it does technically tell you how to use it, but I would like it in paper. But going over the design, I actually kind of like it. It looks so retro, and at the same time so industrial because the skeletonized design, it literally looks like a piece of scaffold was made into a blaster. At the same time though, there's basically no volume to this thing because the entire blaster is skeletonized all the way down to the, the bare basics and it pretty much weighs about as much as two tiddly wings that are glued together with saliva. Like, it genuinely feels like crap. It's so cheap and almost papery feeling. I, I seriously have never felt a blaster that feels worse than than this one. It is just atrocious. Like, you can say what you want about Elite 2.0, but that blaster feels like a traditional end strike product in comparison to this thing. So already we're off to a bad start. What about the ergonomics? Horrible. Terrible. Terrible ergonomics. Terrible grip, terrible stock, 
and no foregrip. They were so cheap, they couldn't put a foregrip on this one either. The grip is so wide for no reason. It doesn't match any of the proportions of this blaster because it's so small and light. You would expect something like a pistol grip on this, but no, this is a similar size grip to some rival blasters out there, and it feels terrible to hold this thing because it's so light and, and cheap feeling. And, and the grip itself is just bigger. It's not more comfortable, it's just bigger. Combined with this stupid stock that goes way too low where it really shouldn't, it's incredibly cramping and incredibly challenging on your hands. The stock itself is almost comfortable. I mean, for some reason it has like one of the best lengths I've seen out of any Nerf stock in a long time, but it just feels like crap. There's no smooth surfaces to press against your shoulder or anything. Like people go out of their way to design the most ergonomic stocks possible because they want maximum comfort on their blaster. This one is the exact opposite. It doesn't look cool and it doesn't feel good either. The ergonomics on this are just horrible. I would also like to note the fact that all these clips are visible. That's just annoying. I mean, you have this blue plastic, which could almost look kind of cool, but then, nope, 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 there's a whole bunch of plastic clips right there, right in plain sight. You can see how the scope is clipped together. It's like, no care, no effort, no nothing. I would way rather use anything that Busby made over this, and it costs more than some good Busby blasters out there. Oh, 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 what's this? This is the Air Max Boss. It was the competitor to the Magnus when it came out. Um, it's magazine fed, it shoots mega darts, the grip is big and comfortable, it looks nice while also being very simplistic. They put all of the effort into the actual build with screws, I mean, unheard of, actual screws in a blaster? Nah, nah, clips are the way to go. And it feels better even though this blaster still feels incredibly cheap and it shoots reliably, half the price. I paid $5 for this, $10 retail for this one. Don't believe me? Bingo. And this is like the worst Busby blaster that I actually have. This thing is terrible and I love it compared to the Mantis. <laughs> but I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. How does this thing work? Well, you know the Jolt, that blaster that everybody has and probably likes a little bit more than I do? Well, why don't you take that and overcomplicate it by making it a breech loader with a stupid lip right there that prevents you from casually sliding the dart back, which defeats the whole point of using a breech loader. The reason something like the Ion Fire works is just because it's such an effortless thing. You put the dart down and you shove it back. This one has a plastic lip on the bottom of the barrel. So if you just drop the dart in and push it back, all of a sudden it gets stuck on this lip. You can't push it back. You have to lift it up and very precisely guide it backwards into the barrel. And it feels horrible doing that every single time. There's so much sprue sticking out of the rim of the barrel, it feels like it's scratching the dart to death. The operation and ease of use of this blaster is just awful. But how does it actually work? Well, it's relatively simple. You push a dart in, you try and fail to get it into the barrel for five minutes until it finally just happens to fit. You shove it all the way down. You use a crappy, super thin sprue covered jolt T-pull can't even pull back because it's too hard. And, and then that's right where your cheek's gonna be, so that just defeats the whole purpose of a T-pull. And then you fire once with the worst trigger I've ever felt. It's mounted from the bottom. I thought I didn't like top-mounted triggers. I hate bottom-mounted triggers more. I feel bad for the zombie target. This is what it's come to, is having to deal with a terrible jolt sniper rifle that charged $10 at retail. $10 for this thing. I can't even use the stock. Look, the cheek rest is right where the priming handle is. That'll hurt if you hit yourself. So it actually shoots really hard, which is very surprising. It, like, it actually hurts my wrist to hold. Oh my God. Go in! Just... I, I just don't care. Yes, it's official. This is the worst blaster I've ever seen. You don't know how many more times I would rather use the shockwave than use this once. I would so much rather use the shockwave than this. I can't even make jokes about it. 
I, I hate this thing so much. It doesn't look well. It doesn't shoot well. It's uncomfortable. It's the ergonomics are atrocious. You can't load it properly. It feels like crap. And there is absolutely no reason anybody should ever pay 10 whole dollars for this thing. They, I believe they only sell this at Dollar General. If you go to Dollar General and they have this, and next to it, they have the Air Max Boss, and you want to get one of these, always, always, always go with the Boss every single time. Don't ever get a Mantis for any reason. Never, ever, ever pick this up. It is beyond a scam. Even on Hasbro standards, it's a scam. Even on Alpha Strike standards, it's a scam. How can I say that? Let's say you pay $10, you get this. It's the Fang QS4. This thing is amazing in comparison, even though I hate this blaster just as much. It's a lot more comfortable, it's smaller, it's more compact, it's easier to slip into holsters, it's easier to prime, and it even feels better. I mean, you, you know what? You know what? Yeah, this is the worst thing I've ever used. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, Supervisor, what on earth have you done? I, I can't do this. I can't do this. They want $10 for this thing. I, I have to go back. I have to go back now. I have to save this company. Oh, Supervisor's gonna be mad. Supervisor, I'm back. Huh? Oh, intern, you're back. Thank heavens. Wait a minute, you're, you're actually happy to see me? I thought you'd be mad. Well, of course I'm happy to see you. I need your help with something important. Oh, uh, uh, really? When is it, Supervisor? This! Pick these up, please.